I'm sure that you've had one of those days where you wake up and you feel off. Like nothing's going your way and everything is just irritating you for some reason. Sometimes playing music can help significantly. It can increase your mood and make you feel a whole lot better than you did initially. Music is something that we can all find a part of to enjoy. But you know what lies at the heart of music? Musical instruments and human ingenuity. Because without those two things, we would be living in a very gloomy world. A lot of people think that it takes natural born talent to play an instrument. Dedication and patience are the key skills to playing any instrument. And here's why you should. First, it aids in brain development and boosting mental flexibility. Second, it boosts your spatial awareness as well as your muscle memory. And lastly, and most importantly, it teaches you patience and dedication. First, I'm going to explain why brain development is aided by playing musical instruments as well as retaining mental flexibility. Sarah Cavaco, an expert in behavioral neurology at the University of Iowa, conducted a study that suggested that musical memory may be more precedent than any other form of memory in the human brain. One example of this is a patient that suffered from anterograde amnesia, which is a very severe form of amnesia that prevents one from creating new memories. For the average person, that would be absolutely devastating. Despite this, the patient retained significant musical memory from previous years as a saxophone player prior to their incident that caused their amnesia. As a result of this, they were able to create new memories by learning to play unfamiliar songs. To me, that is a lifesaver. The second of many reasons why you should learn to play an instrument is because you gain considerable amount of spatial awareness as well as muscle memory. In the article Jazz Perspectives by James Dean, the famous guitarist Pat Metheny was asked about his improvisation techniques. Metheny's responses were recorded and then analyzed by Dean, as well as another guitarist, Wayne Kranz, who provided another piece of important information. He said that patterns are shortcuts that rely on mechanical memory rather than the underlying theory in order to produce a specific desired sound. That mechanical memory indicates where to put a hand or mouth on a specific instrument in order to receive a desired sound, and as such, it works just as well as reading music. Dean had followed up the interview with research that led to evidence supporting the same fact that Wayne Krantz had provided regarding the fact that ears are not the only part of the body that are going to be responsible for learning musical patterns. These musical patterns are also learned by habitual muscle movements trained in response to sound. With this muscle memory, the motor network of the body is much more capable of moving in specific patterns easier, making other actions easier to perform simultaneously. In simpler terms, that just means that it becomes easier for a musician to multitask compared to the average person. Now besides creating some very awesome symphonies, doesn't that sound like something you'd like to be able to do? The next of the many reasons to pick up an instrument, but the last one that I'll mention today, is the fact that playing an instrument can significantly increase one's patience. And that's despite the fact that many people believe playing an instrument well depends on raw talent, but that is entirely not true. I myself can claim that I'm musically inclined, knowing that I've learned over 20 songs on guitar and as well as three harmonies on harmonica myself, but that comes with the downside. Similar to Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, and other critically acclaimed artists that are musically inclined, I cannot read sheet music at all. In the other case, regarding dedication, patience, and repetition, similar skills can be gained. And with that skill, 
the pride and happiness that comes with being able to create music should speak wonders for itself. Time, motivation, and an instrument are all the things that you need to be able to achieve that. And I'm sure with this video, you should be able to have enough motivation to go out there and get an instrument of your own.